In this lesson, we'll look at paraphrasing, summarizing, and what plagiarizing might look like. A paraphrase is a restatement of a text, passage, or work giving the meaning in another form. Paraphrasing is one way to take another person's ideas and incorporate them into your paper. When you paraphrase, you are giving your own interpretation of what the original author said without directly quoting them. It is one of the legitimate ways of borrowing another's ideas provided you accurately document the paraphrase in your paper. A paraphrase does more than a summary. A summary focuses on one main idea. A paraphrase is not, however, taking somebody else's words and using the thesaurus to change a few. Often, students think that if they change a few words, they are paraphrasing, but that is not the case. Paraphrasing is a valuable skill because it allows you to use more of an author's ideas without overburdening your paper with direct quotations. Additionally, it allows your reader to see that you truly understood what the original author was saying. More importantly, Paraphrasing allows you to make sure you and your reader truly understood what the original author was saying. The more processing you do with a piece of information, the more likely you are to understand it. By restating the main ideas in another form, you are processing the information at a deeper level than if you were to simply quote the original author. That isn't to say that a direct quote is not appropriate either, but a paraphrase helps to add depth to your paper. Here are some steps that you can take to help you write a successful paraphrase. Read the original passage many times until you're sure that you understand what it's saying. Turn the original over so that you can't see it, and on a piece of paper or in a word processing document, write down everything you can remember in a logical way. Do not attempt to memorize specific information. Just get down a basic retelling of the information. Make some notes on how you think you might be able to use this information in your research project. Double check between your paraphrase and the source to make sure that you got all of the important information. Add anything that you may have missed. Check to make sure you didn't accidentally plagiarize. Put quotation marks around any unique terms or word combinations that you may have borrowed from the original. Don't forget to write down where you got the original information from, preferably with an accurate citation. This will come in very handy when you sit down to write your paper later. You won't have to hunt down specific citation information for the source. Here are some examples that you can compare. In the original passage, it states, Currently, even the most energy-conscious Americans have twice the carbon footprint as the average global citizen. The United States comprises about 4% of the Earth's population, but emits about 25% of the total global greenhouse gases. In contrast to China, the United States emits more than seven times as much per person, and compared to India, Americans produce more than 20 times as much per capita. A legitimate paraphrase may read as follows. According to Mills, Americans contribute 25% of the greenhouse gases, despite the fact that the U.S. makes up only 4% of the population. With China and India in the lead in terms of population, they still produce far less greenhouse gases than even the most energy-conscious Americans. You will notice that the writer began their paragraph by giving credit to the original author. The paraphrase also gives the same information as the original passage, but in a new way. An acceptable summary might read, with only 4% of the world's population, America produces up to 25% of the world's greenhouse gases. You'll notice that the summary is very brief, giving just a quick synopsis of what was covered in the original passage. You will also note that the writer provides an in-text citation. An example of somebody who may have plagiarized this passage would read as follows. Currently, even the most energy-concerned Americans have two times the carbon footprint as the average world citizen. American comprises about 4% of the Earth's population, but emits about 25% of the total world greenhouse gases. When compared to China, the United States emits more than seven times as much per citizen. And in contrast to India, Americans produce more than 20 times as much per person. In the plagiarized version, the very first thing you'll notice is a lack of citation of any kind. The writer does not in any way acknowledge the original author. You will also notice that what the writer did was copy and paste or retype the text changing a few words. Here's another example for you to compare. The original passage states, After 400 years of Ottoman rule, Greece emerged as a nation-state in 1830. A devastating civil war followed the retreat of German-occupied forces in 1944. The rebuilding of the shattered economy was launched with Marshall Plan aid, 
but left-right antagonism persisted. Between 1967 and 1974, a military junta ruled the country, but since then, an effective democracy has been in place. In, in 1981, Greece joined the European Community, now the EU, and became a member of Economic and Monetary Union at the start of 2001. A legitimate paraphrase may read as follows. Greece has survived a number of government structures including 400 years under Ottoman rule, 100 years as a nation-state under German rule, 7 years being run as a military junta, and most recently, time as an effective democracy. Greece joined the European Union and then in 2001 joined the Economic and Monetary Union. Once again, you will note that credit is given to the original author using an in-text citation. This paraphrase takes the basic ideas from the original source but states them in a new way. An acceptable summary may read, Greece has survived a number of government structures including time under Ottoman rule, as a nation-state under German rule, leadership by a military junta, and most recently time as an effective democracy. Greece Country Fact Sheet. Again, the summary is a much shorter synopsis of the original version, and the summary includes an in-text citation. A plagiarized version may read like this. According to Greece Country Fact Sheet, After 400 years being ruled by Ottoman, Greece became a nation-state in 1830. A terrifying civil war followed the retreat of German forces in 1944. The rebuilding of the shattered economic structure was launched with Marshall Plan aid, but left-right antagonism persisted. Between 1967 and 1974, a military group ruled the country, but since then, an effective democracy has been upheld. In 1981, Greece joined the European Community, now the EU, and became a member of the Economic and Money Union at the beginning of 2001. This writer does give credit to the original author. However, it is still plagiarized because they did little more than replace a few words using the thesaurus. They did no real processing of the information presented. Once again, here's my work cited for all of the work that I used while building my presentation.